Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Troy Curtis coming at you with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be reacting to the Dover race that actually just happened yesterday. And I'll talk about why. Um, so the reason why is they usually do it on, they mainly do it on Sunday afternoon. But uh, the forecast called rain and NASCAR couldn't really do anything about that. So they made the call to race on Monday. So yeah, that, that, that was the thing with that. So, yeah, the, the race got rained out on Sunday. And so it ended up being yesterday. So let's get right to it. Overall, um, I couldn't watch the race because um, it was, I, I just didn't have the opportunity to once again. But I watched the race rewind and I went off of that because Eric is step, I, I watched Eric Estet's video and I, I think he looked at it in the wrong way. Um, I watched the race, watched, I, yeah, I watched the race rewind, and I was overall really impressed with the racing. Um, it reminded me of a lot of Bristol. Um, yeah, because most of the race was actually really good. I mean, there was a lot of passing, a lot of battles going on, because they had the higher horsepower, which, um, I mean, obviously it's hard to pass, but like, there is like a lot of passing and a lot of like really good racing uh, for um, for the major the vast majority of the race. Um, um, so let's get right to the summary of the race. Um, Joey Logano won stage one, and Truex won stage two, and we'll talk about that actually a little bit. And Truex ultimately won the race, um, and, and we'll talk more about that as well. Um, so. As far as cautions go, there wasn't too many of them. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything major. Uh, just some tire problems, especially with Denny Hamlin um, and Ricky Senna Jr. Uh, two notables um, had tire problems, which that ultimately hurt their chances. Um, Hendrick Motorsports had a pretty good day. Um, they raced in the top 15. Um, for the majority of the day, and you know, and actually, I mean, like even Chase Elliott, William Byron, Max Bowman, they were like running in the top ten, um, mostly. Um, so, well, at, yeah, at least yeah, Bowman and Byron. Oh wait, no, Bowman and uh, Elliott had the best days. Um, but overall, Hendrick finished really well. Um, three of their cars finished in. The top 10, which is uh, very good for the organization. Joe Gibbs, um, I guess didn't have too bad of a day. I know Denny Hamlin had issues, but uh, Joe Gibbs had a solid finish. I, I mean, had a, not, had a good finish. Um, Truex won the race. Um, Kyle Busch finished in the top 10, and I think Eric Jones is, um, did well as well. So, um, so not too bad of a day for Joe Gibbs. Uh, Stuart Haas, maybe not the best, uh, actually Stuart Haas did all right, um, but Penske, they ended up not finishing well. Um, Logano is the only one that finished within the top 10, uh, Blaney and Kozlowski kind of faded. Um, yeah, so Penske didn't, ended up not having the best day. Um, but yeah, Stuart Haas, not too bad, Harvick even finished in the top 10, which is good. Um, Suarez just finished outside the top 10, and then uh, Boyer and Almirola, I don't, Boyer and Almirola did well, so Stuart Haas, not too bad of a day, but I think Hendrick had the strongest day, I mean, had the strongest finish for sure, um, because three out of their four cars finished in the top 10, which is very good for the organization. So, let's talk about the end of stage two. It was an epic battle. Um, it was between Truex, Harvick, and Bowman, and boy was that a battle. And Bowman was trying to win stage two, but Truex uh, managed to use Bubba Wallace to his advantage, and he was able to win stage two. Um, um, let's get to later in the race. Um, Truex just took off and had a really big lead, which kind of 
left fans with not much to watch. But overall, most of the race was pretty good until that point. Uh, um, but, uh, and by the way, um, so stats were, some st there are stats that were very interesting. I got these from Erica Stepp. And actually, I didn't, I wasn't really keeping track of this, but Alex Bowman has finished in every position but first. And guess what? The second week in a row, he came so close to winning. So I keep an eye on that 88 car going into next week. Two top two finishes. Chase Elliott with two top five finishes in a row. Hendrick might be knocking on the door faster than Stuart Haas's because Stuart Haas has not been really running towards the front that much. But Hendrick, they have had opportunities um, to win. So I, I definitely keep an eye on Hedger Motorsports going into Kansas because Chase Elliott going on another track that he's definitely going to be a threat at. So I definitely keep an eye on Hendrick um, going into Kansas next week um, because they could be a threat to Joe Gibbs. Yeah, Joe Gibbs is on a hot streak right now. Forget Penske Racing, but um, unfortunately for me, I have respect for at least a few of the drivers, but Kyle Busch I definitely cannot stand at all. Um, but yeah, Truex, I, I, I like him a lot. Eric Jones, I like a lot. Um, Hamlin, n not too bad. I, I mean, I was kind of frustrated that he knocked Chase Elliott out of playoff contention, but Denny Hamlin hasn't really done anything that, you know. But yeah, Penske... Anyway, so overall, I was really impressed with the race, and... Actually, I'm gonna give this race a 65 out of 100. I was really, I was pretty impressed with the racing that I saw on the race through line, and I thought there was just a lot of good racing with this uh, different air package that they applied at Bristol. Um, maybe it looked better at Bristol, but it, it didn't look too bad here. Um, but there was some pretty good racing for sure. Um, so I'll. So, ultimately, Truex won the race, obviously. Um, so, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good race. Well, that's going to wrap up this video today for you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace out, and have a good night, everybody.